Hello everybody, my name is Professor Tomorrow and I'm Barry from Barry Sean's Lab and today we'll be looking at the code. Now, of course, we're not going to use the variable the A word equals box. But instead, rather, we will use first an integer, then a decimal, and then finally text. Alright. So first let's look at an integer. So int let's say x. But then Let's say we have two things called y and z. Remember, you you can actually define two things in one. You just need to put a comma. So let's say y is three. You actually have to put only one over here. Then you have z is maybe two. And now let's see what happens when we set x is equal to y over g. Alright, this is the moment of truth. Let's see if it works or it doesn't. If it doesn't, that would be very sad. Oh, sorry folks, um, it seems like that isn't on our tab. Now we can zoom out. Right, so let's run that again. And it doesn't print anything because x has to be an integer. So let's say we set y to something like 4. Or even better, just do this. y equals or y plus 1 over 7 is equal. Sorry? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what we have to do, actually, is we have to print it out so we can see what x is. So we have to print x out, that is how we print a variable, and that's what it rounds, it rounds to the nearest number, because, you know, it's 1.5, so it rounds down to 1. So that means, oh, that means that our module is a pessimist! Oh, uh, Alright, sorry. But then... Let's say I do something that will give me something slightly smaller than one, or slightly bigger, actually slightly small. So 1.1. 1. 1. Oh yeah. It, yeah, well I put it, so I can't really do anything, but let's say we put double, double it when we're dealing with decimals. Now, see, we can do something, but if we put int, then Z isn't going to be looking good because, you know, it's not an integer. Then double. That fixes everything. And now, it rounds up to 2. The answer is increased to 2. But now, let's say we can allow it to give us exact results. Let's spam a 9 over here. And I assume it'll round to two. Yep. And we will probably get the same response if we do this. So that's how int works. And you probably also saw how double works. It's really just int but with decimals. And now here comes the big thing. Big thing over here is that we're gonna be looking at string. So string, and then what do we want? Let's say we want to define how good I am at coding. And let's say that that will always be 10. And then let's print it out as count how good I am at coding and then out of 10 I think you have to do this out of 10 is my score and when it runs yep 10 out of 10 is my score so that means I am 10 out of 10 in coding yeah <laughs> 